everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video we are going to be going over to Twitter for the Dokkan Battle official Twitter page to where they have revealed the new information on the next two LRs to be coming to Dokkan during the 350 million download celebration. So without any further ado, here let's take a look first at these guys right here. It is going to be Dilemma on the Battlefield Krillin and Gohan Kids. So, uh, pretty cool art. I actually like that. I think that's a pretty iconic pose with them uh, uh, powering up there. They are going to be AGL, so that's a, obviously a pretty nice boost uh, for Super AGL. So, leader skills going to be Rapid Growth Category, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Or AGL, key plus 4, HP attack and defense 100%. Pretty standard. Nice boost for rapid growth. Makes complete sense for them. And I think that that's something that could really help them out. I mean, even only being a 130, I mean, the key plus 4 is, is pretty nice. So, um, pretty interesting there. And then as far as the passive skill, uh, exchange of thoughts. So attack and defense plus 130% and a medium chance of evading enemies attack so that's the first part of it that, that that's good I mean 130% across the board and then just the uh, the fact that they have a medium chance of evading you've got basically a dupe built in right there on uh, they're, they're evading so I mean that's that, that's pretty nice plus an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained so they're like uh, not quite as powerful as uh, Fujito and Buhan, but yeah, that's pretty nice for Bootinks. Uh, let's see here, plus an additional attack plus 50% when performing a super attack, so pretty nice. And then launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when key is 24. Changes into battle suits when conditions are met. So... Essentially 180 attack and 130 defense when when you're launching a super attack, which is pretty nice. And then the key plus 24 with the with the additional key plus one, that's not going to be horrible to obtain. Um, looking at their links here, they do have Kamehameha, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, and Fighter, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So that's pretty nice with uh, Shocking Speed being able to get that. I mean, in Fighter, Cold Judgment, Solid s Support. I mean, you're talking about some pretty good. Uh, defensive skills too. That's interesting. Wow. All right. Um, let's see here. Their active skills release your power can be activated starting from the third turn of the battle. So that's pretty sweet there. And then it's just straight key plus twenty four. That's it. Eh. I mean, I kind of. I mean, you wish that they would have been able to maybe when key is twenty four be able to like maybe guarantee stun or guarantee seal or guarantee something i mean that's i mean i like them i think they're pretty cool i kind of wish it was a little bit better um key plus 24 isn't like that great but i guess it could help out um raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage to an enemy not too bad on their super effect uh, on the 20, it's greatly raised attack and defense uh, for one turn. So, really, they're going to probably be better once they uh, once they boost. Or in the, excuse me, they'll probably be better if you if they attack in the second turn as far as defensively goes. Um, let's see here, outfit change details. So they do have an outfit change. Changes into a battle suit upon entering the next attacking turn. After performing four more, so on turn six, turn five, well, really technically be five, um, but after performing four more, well, I mean, but you don't get any boost for them, so they, they, they have an exchange mechanic, and they're not getting, well, I mean, that's cool, I mean, it, I mean, these these are interesting. I mean, I like them uh, just on the standpoint of it. It is a unit that I said that we were going to turn around and get. I mean, Gohan Krillin, I kind of wish that they would we would have had more of like a uh, Android trio where Piccolo would have jumped in. And we know why they probably didn't get anything. Well, let's see here. First-hand information. Oh, okay, so they do get a boost. I don't know why I was thinking they didn't get a boost. Okay, so then, okay, all right, now I'm feeling much better about this. Okay. 
Their passive skill, once they do an exchange, is going to be attack hit defense plus 150%, and a medium chance of evading, so that's staying, staying. They get a 20% boost, that's awesome, plus an additional key plus one key sphere, plus another additional key plus one if it is a rainbow key sphere. Um, oh, with AGL, having them next to, uh, oh, that could be really good with the um, uh, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. That's pretty cool. An additional attack plus 58% and medium chance of evading enemies attack when performing a super attack. So they get two separate boosts for evading once they transform. And it's four super attacks, so technically the earliest you, yeah, the earliest you get it would be turn five. Which, that's not horrible. Turn five is not bad for, for a uh, exchange mechanic. Um, when performing a super attack launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when... Wait, let me say that. When before, okay, launches an additional super attack, or launches an additional attack that has a great chance. Okay, so it goes from high to great. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. And then they still do uh, attack, greatly raise attack. I like them. That's pretty good. I like that. That's that, okay. Now seeing that, I feel much better. <laughs> okay, they're uh, they're pretty good there. All right, so uh, before we jump over that, I want to show this is their active skill here. Hang on, whoop. hang on one second here. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at it. Looks good. All right. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice with the exchange. <laughs> that's okay. They, they kind of move a little funny, but that, that's... Hey, that's always nice. Oh, there we go. So they probably have the exact same skills just to make costume change slash ex okay so it's 12 and 18 key it's probably going to stay the same all right all right i'm i'm cool with that that's pretty interesting all right let's go ahead and pause that all right so now we'll go ahead and go to the uh fajita now the fajita is pretty interesting here for sure, because he actually has an exchange into Goku. So, taking a look at him, he's going to be an extreme int. So, Planet Namit Saga is going to be key plus 4, 130 across the board. So, that's good there. Um, he is going to be on Inhuman Deeds, which is nice, and Dragon Ball Seekers, which is going to be a pretty good boost there. Planetary Destruction as well. Vegeta's family. So, you technically get a Goku that changes into him. That's interesting. Alright, so key plus 3, and attack plus 150%, plus an additional key, plus 2 in attack, plus um, 150% when HP is 30% or more. So, yeah, dude, that's awesome. So, if he's on his own, he's right away getting, uh, what is that, 13 key, just from himself before any other boost. That's nice. And then, uh, plus an additional uh, attack and defense, plus 50% when attacking, so good for in the second slot. And then, if HP is 29% or less at the start of character's attacking turn, revive with 70% HP recovered by exchanging with Goku when the character ally. So, I mean, it's almost like Cell. He's very similar, and I get Cell transformations all the time. I mean, not to mention, it. Look, oh, it's KO'd in the same turn. So, yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I think that's actually a pretty good transformation mechanic. Raises attack and defense for a turn, and then just does that twice. Uh, again, that's his exchange mechanic, so it's going to be a revival um basically it's cells in cells revive mechanic okay and then taking a look here we've got uh let's see here planet namic all right no that's pretty good raises uh let's see here so all in the family kamehameha saiyan lineage get boosts over and then it's going to be he gets 159 percent plus an additional 59 percent and when performing a super attack plus an additional key plus three and reduces damage received by 30% if there's an extreme class enemy. 
A uh, high chance of performing a critical hit against Planet Dynamics. Dude, that's nice. Basically, ha I mean, all you need is your uh, additionals and dodges. All right. Raises attack and defense. I like him. I mean, they're... Wow, man. I like both these units. I really do. Let's go ahead and take a look at their active skill here. Come on, all right. All right. All right, so it's just like straight when he's fighting Jace. And then him fighting Ginyu. Although it's kind of interesting he's got the hole in his chest fighting Ginyu. You would have thought that... All right, this was going to be the active KO screen. There you go. Oh, the death scene. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> okay, that was kind of cool. All right, and then it's completely different. Oh, nice. I like that. All right, that's cool. Oh, that's the, that's the scene when he's under the water. Okay, that's cool. And there you go. <laughs> well, okay then. Well, I, I'll tell you what. I really like these two units. Yep, I definitely like the two units. I think they're going to be pretty good. So, uh, attack and defense plus uh, 159 and 59. So, yeah, it's separate, calculated separately. I mean, he's definitely going to hit harder than the other guys. I, I think I might actually like Krillin and Gohan better. That is interesting. Oh, well, that's that's pretty cool. So, uh, otherwise, uh, that's going to be it. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about these two new units. I think it's obviously going to be set up pretty nice and uh, pretty, pretty excited. So, as far as release date, I believe the release time on these guys is probably going to be uh, tomorrow night on the 15th. And, uh, yeah, so should be pretty interesting to see what happens. So, Otherwise, that's it. That's today's video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button. And don't forget that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that I'm uploading a new video. But otherwise, guys, that's it. That's today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.